What's up Capricorn, it's your girl Kelly coming straight at you for the Queen Tarot B in Boston. So this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Mars, and Venus. And if it's not your story, don't try to squeeze it in there. Don't try to make it fit, okay? Um, this is also for the cross watchers out there. Welcome to the Queen Tarot B. You are more than welcome here. Please leave a like, share, subscribe, whatever it is YouTubers do. Um, anyway, if the energy comes in vice versa, feel free to let me know in the comments because sometimes it can be, you know, what Capricorn is doing to you or what you're doing to Capricorn or whatever is going on there, that whole dynamic. Um, but I like to know what energy is coming in for the month and how to read it. So, um, with that being said, if you need a more personal reading, because this is a general reading, please feel free to email me in the box below. My email is there and I can send you a list of services and donations. Um, let me see. I think that's it. Let's get to the good stuff because I hate this whole thing. But it's like I have, I don't say it. People don't listen anyway. But if I don't say it, then anyway, uh, moving on. I feel like you guys have made a decision this month, but you're not acting on it. You're not using your better judgment. And with that, uh, you're not using your super conscious, your subconscious. You're not um, helping yourself here. You know, the situation feels like you need to walk away from someone. You're with the wrong person. And you know that you're with the wrong person, but you're staying with them for some reason or another. Um, and I don't feel like this person is genuine in emotion. I feel like they have a side to them that's very manipulative and kind of sneaky, very all about me type of attitude. Um, but I feel like you do have genuine love for this person. I'm just not so sure that they share the same feelings back. It's like you're not joining in their fight anymore, but at the same time, you're not walking away like you should. You're not even fighting for yourself, Cappies. It's a little odd. Um, I feel like you're going to start using that judgment and learn how to walk away, okay? You're going to learn how to say enough is enough. Maybe this month for you guys, or this week, should I say. I keep saying that. So I'm used to doing monthlies, but I'm actually doing weeklies now. Um, you guys will probably end up walking away from this person. But let me get to the cards. Let's see what the cards have to say. And we'll see if we can't get the cards to back up what I'm saying to you right now. So... It's almost like you know that the relationship is at an end, okay? And you're just not walking away. This person hasn't really been good to you either. And maybe that you don't know it, but there's definitely secrets there. They're very in and out with you, and... I feel like you've been at that crossroad for some time. And that crossroad is something that you haven't really formally made a decision and walked away on. Justice with the two of wands. Okay, so that's a crossroad. And you're not doing yourself any justice is the problem. You're not doing yourself any favors by staying with this person because the longer you stay with them, it's like the longer um, how do I explain it? The longer you stay with them, the longer you repel who you're truly supposed to be with. That's really what I'm looking for to say. You're repelling the person that you're truly supposed to be with because you're going down the wrong path and soon you two will start butting heads because this person is a soulmate they're not a twin flame or anything like that they're there to teach you lessons and it's time to let go so you guys haven't really done that yet and so this person has done you wrong in the past they're very very in and out on the relationship okay this is the ten of swords with 
the let me not say it wrong because I almost just said pentacles so they're not making it an offer if I'm getting in um, the page of pentacles that's because they're not making the offer to you I feel like they're not even pitching in so maybe that they're over a lot and they're not helping out um, it may be that they're spending a lot of time with you but not making an offer for, of money for the things that they're using um, but where it's the page of wands and I own that's what I almost said was the pentacles the page of wands is very in and out uh, this one has a very warm personality but it's childish behavior coming from this person Oh, there it is, okay. Judgment with the High Priestess. Both reversed. And so they're talking about how you're not using the correct judgment. You're not using that super conscious, that subconscious, that pit feeling in your stomach to know that it's time to let go. Or maybe you are and you're just ignoring those red flags. If I can get them off the pile here. Okay. So you've got the King of Pentacles in reverse. This is somebody who's not helping out monetarily. They may be taking their money and spending it, but living off of you, okay? And they're just going out, celebrating, having a good time, doing whatever they want to do at your expense. But it's like you're not taking any action here. You're not moving forward to say, okay, well, my time with you is up. I'm unhappy. It's time for me to go. It's like you're just staying in it because you feel bad. And there's that feeling of real love for this person, okay? And you guys are feeling that love. You love this person, but at the same time, you know that this relationship is coming to an end. It's an end of a cycle. It's kind of like an end of an era, okay? Because you may have been with this person a couple years now but they're emotionally manipulative like I was saying you know they don't want to pitch in this money they want to be the king but unfortunately being the king and the king in reverse doesn't work this person is innately selfish they are um, generally just a good person but they're selfish person there's somebody that's not thinking about your feelings and about your needs or your wants here we go again the good old oxymoron of the night in the upright and the night in reverse okay you've got the knight of wands who's very come and go this is your type of person that is uh, how would I say um, they come in when they need something but they bounce right back out okay this person is very much um, a playboy a playgirl they tell you what you want to hear But behind all that is somebody who messes around a lot. It's somebody who really isn't that true. Like I said, this person's a soulmate. Soulmate expiration date, guys. So it's time for you to let go of this person. It's time for you to take serious action in letting go of this person. The Two of Cups on this side and the Ace of Wands on that side. It's time to let go. Here's that card of moving away from a situation of taking yourself out of the equation, right? With the Emperor in reverse. You're afraid to feel um, like the bad guy here. But at the same time, it's like it's time to go. It's time to walk away. You need to really use that King of Swords energy and cut out anything that's not spiritually uh, enlightening at this point. You need to cut out anything that's not serving your spiritual journey. Because this person does not know what they want. 
they still, they're, they want you, but then they don't want you. It's like just having someone there to have somebody there. All right, guys, that is what I have for you for this week. If you'd like a more personal reading, please feel free to contact me. This is your girl, Kelly, coming straight at you for the Queen's Tarot Bee in Boston. I will catch you guys on the flip side. Bye, guys.